In today's What Sold video, I am going to be talking about how I didn't actually sell a whole lot last week and why I don't really care. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I am a part-time reseller on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, ThreadUp. Shopify. I'm probably missing something, but that's okay. And I do a weekly what sold video where I talk about everything that sold for me in the past week. I tell you about where I got the item, how much I picked it up for, how long I've held on to the item, where I sold it, how much I sold it for, all that good stuff, just so that you have a little bit more information about some different kinds of brands and items and styles that maybe you'd never thought to pick up while you were outsourcing. And that's what I do every week, one of these videos a week. So if you enjoy this kind of content, if you enjoy reseller content, like the Thrift hauls and tips and tricks videos, all that kind of stuff. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel yet. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. If you're brand new, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. So we're going to talk about what sold for me last week. It was not a whole lot. And the reason for that, I mean, a couple things. One, um, my family and I decided to take a small trip and just kind of like get away <laughs> from everything. I think for myself personally, I was feeling a little overwhelmed, a little overworked, all because of things that I did to myself. Like I just put a lot on myself and I realized that I really just needed to take a break, not just from the work, but also just from like social media and just kind of putting myself out there all the time and feeling like I had to be on all the time, if that makes sense. So my family and I took a little trip. It was wonderful. I did not really check Instagram or my emails or anything like that. And I think what I really took away from that trip is that really the most important thing is my family. You know, like um, I love this reselling community. Do not get me wrong. I love it so much. And I love creating content. I love reselling. I love teaching. If you don't know, my full-time job is as a high school choir teacher. But at the end of the day, the people I want to spend my time with the most is my family. And I think somewhere along the way, I was forgetting that and I was sacrificing good quality time with them in an effort to do more when it came to reselling, to do more when it came to creating content and all that kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, like my family doesn't want or need me to make more money. They just need me. You know, they just want me and quality time with me. So it was a really good reminder of that. If you're feeling overwhelmed or overworked, if you're able to, I definitely recommend taking a step away, even just for a little bit. And another byproduct of that break is that I, you know, kind of like grew to miss reselling a little bit. Sometimes you need to take time away so that um, you want to get back at it. So it was a really good break break, but as a result, I had not as many sales as I typically do, and I'm totally fine with that. So let's go ahead and talk about what did sell. On Monday, which was January 11th, we're talking about sales, by the way, from January 11th all the way to January 17th, which was my mom's birthday. Happy belated birthday, mama. <laughs> but on, am I sitting on the right side? Mm, I, I think I need to, mm, I think I need to scoot over here. You guys, it's been so long since I've done this. I think I sit here and then I put, <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll just, I don't know. I think I sit here. What, what is, what is life? We'll just try this. And if I have to put it on the other side, I will. Okay. Going back to Monday, the 11th, I sold a pair of Sperry gray waterproof rubber rain boots in a size eight. These I got in a thread up box that I haven't even put on my channel yet. Um, I filmed it and it hasn't been edited and put on my channel. They'll be up here soon. So this pair of boots was in there. I don't remember how much I had them listed at, maybe like $40, but I got a $35 offer, which I accepted. And so I made $28. The next thing to sell on Poshmark on Monday the 11th was this Carter's green utility jacket with like patches all over it. It had kind of like a Coldplay Viva La Vida vibe, if you remember that album and like they wore all the like patchwork uh, jackets and stuff, whatever. It was in a size 18 months. It was something that I had gotten for my daughter when she was a baby. She wore it a bunch and I don't know why we like still have it in our house, but we did. So I listed it and it sold for $12 and I made $9.05, which was 
great because you know we just had it lying around so no cost of goods really because my daughter got some use out of it and now we have nine dollars and five cents to buy the kids some more clothes so as i shared earlier my brain is kind of broken this week but i did forget to mention this one ebay sale that i had it was this pair of nike prime height df2 basketball high top shoes in a men's nine i got an offer on them for thirty dollars i had them listed for 39.99 and so i countered at 34.90 they accepted and after i paid for shipping which was eight dollars and fifty cents i made a profit of twenty two dollars and ninety one cents on those i did pay about a dollar and eighty cents for those at the consignment store because they were part of a big bulk purchase that I did. So that was really great to turn $1.80 into $22.91. And because I forgot this, it definitely messes up my numbers later, but I will come back on and tell you the correct numbers when I get there. And then moving on to Tuesday the 12th, I had two sales on Mercari and that was it. So the first thing to sell was this pair of Steve Madden Hillary Dior Say Flats in a size eight. These also came from a Thread Up Rescue box. I do believe that this Thread up rescue box unboxing is already on my channel um they sold for 15 dollars. they were pretty worn and a little beat up um so i didn't even list them that high to begin with shipping was five dollars and 27 cents so i made seven dollars and 49 cents and those shoes cost six dollars because basically if you get a thread up rescue box of shoes it comes out to six dollars a pair a little bit more if you have to pay for shipping i have a lot of thread up rewards just from all the activity that i have on thread up so i always get free shipping um so yeah my cost of goods is six dollars per pair of shoes i basically made a dollar and 49 cents off of those which is fine because i will make more on other pairs of shoes but yeah not the kind of return we want to see that's okay the next thing to sell on mercari i was so happy about because i've had this for a very long time and it was this loft cowl neck merino wool blend dress in a size extra small this one i've had listed for over a year i don't even remember where I got it, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure I got it at like a Goodwill or something. So I'm saying that my cost of goods was $5. It sold for $21. I had them pay $4.99 for shipping because on Mercari, if something is a pound or less, they can pay for a USPS shipping label or you can opt to pay for it as well. But um, the under one pound rate is like $4.99, which is great. And so I made $17.99 on that dress, which was amazing because like I said, I was ready to give it away at that point. So on Wednesday, which is the day that we left for our trip I changed my shipping and handling time on eBay to like five days or something like that I went on vacation mode on Poshmark and that's about all I did because you can go on vacation mode on like kid is in and uh, Mercari I think you can like make all of your uh, listings inactive I just chose to like not really do anything on those two platforms and if people bought something I just reached out and let them know like hey it's gonna be a little bit later for me to ship this out to you and they were you know all okay with it but um, you know really Monday and Tuesday too I was not listing a lot I was not cross listing or anything because I was just getting ready for the trip but on Wednesday I did have a few sales the first one was this Puma spell out hoodie it sold to an Instagram follower named Chandler and and I just, I don't know what it is, but I love like high school resellers and just like young people who are out there hustling in this way. Because when I think about who I was when I was in high school, I'm just like, Lord have mercy. These kids have all their stuff together in ways that I did not when I was in high school. I was just a big mess in high school. I just caused a lot of trouble. And so I love seeing high schoolers um, just making good choices and doing good things with their time. And as a high school choir teacher, you know, I interact with a lot of high school students. So just seeing them doing things like reselling and YouTube and stuff, I think it's so cool. So Chandler is a high schooler. I think he is just getting into reselling. I believe he watches my videos. So hi Chandler, if you're watching. And he is also like a choir and theater student at his school, which again, I love because I am a choir teacher and that makes me so, so, so happy when kids are in the arts. So Chandler, um, um, let me know that he was going to be making a purchase for me soon and I saw that he liked this item so I let him know since it was closet clear out that I could drop the price to $20 and um, he would get discounted shipping he accepted so I made $16 on that and I believe I got that at the consignment store for under a dollar so that was um, a really great flip and I'm really happy that that went to someone amazing so Chandler thank you so much I hope you love it and are able to get a lot of use out of it 
And then on eBay, I sold this Fila gray hooded athletic jacket in a size extra small. This literally sold like an hour before we left. And so I told her, hey, you know, I just changed my shipping and handling time to five days. But if you pay for this right now, I can go ahead and get it shipped out before we leave. And so she did pay because, you know, on eBay, people don't have to pay right away. And so I didn't want her to like pay the next day and then have to wait like five, six days to get the item. So um, she paid right away. I was able to ship it out that same day, but I sold it to her for $12. That was the offer she sent me. She paid for shipping. I made $9.76 and I got that at the consignment store as well for under a dollar. So even though it wasn't a huge profit, it was like not the worst flip ever. The next thing to sell was over on Mercari. Again, this was something that my kids wore, but it was this vintage Sesame Street denim pair of overalls with like cookie monster on the front I believe so cute size 12 to 18 months they sold for $18 I did do free shipping on that so I paid four dollars and eight cents to get that shipped out using pirate ship and I made eleven dollars and thirty cents off of something that both of my kids wore I just thought this was so cute I don't know about you but I love seeing kids in overalls <laughs> I just think overalls are like the cutest thing in the world I would wear them except I would look like I was five so I yeah. moving on to Thursday which was January 14th this is when we were gone but I did make some sales the first one was this pair of Riker Riker I don't know I don't know how to say the name of the brand but it was this pair of floral slip-on leather mules or clogs these I picked up not too long ago in a thrift with me video I will link that video right here here why did I forget how to YouTube I don't understand but um, I will link it somewhere and in that video I remember I found these and I was like I don't know if I should get them or not just because it's not like the most well-known brand but I had sold it before I knew that you know the retail value was pretty high um, it's a pretty popular brand I believe like over in Europe because it's made I'm gonna butcher this like in Switzerland or something I think that's what Veronica told me Veronica Mitkay if you guys aren't following her YouTube channel yet make sure that you do she's so fun but um I believe she is the one that told me it was made in Sweden I could also be making this up like just completely making things up but um it is not made in America it is like a European brand and it's more of like a comfort line and so I took a chance on them I paid six dollars for them at that thrift store they sold for my full asking price of thirty four dollars and ninety nine cents now that was with free shipping and they did go in a padded flat rate envelope so I was able to ship them out for seven dollars and 52 cents so I made twenty three dollars and ninety seven cents but if you subtract the six dollars then I made seventeen dollars and ninety seven cents which I'm still happy with because they sold pretty quickly you know they were only listed for like a couple weeks and they sold for my full asking price so I'm really happy that I listened to my gut and purchased those when I was a little bit on the fence when this purchase was made I reached out to the buyer right away and I told her hey you know I did change my shipping and handling time but I just want to make sure that you understand I cannot ship these out till Tuesday and she was like okay thank you for letting me know I think I've been spoiled by Amazon and I'm kind of accustomed to to like getting things the next day but thank you for letting me know and I um, appreciate that and I'm totally fine with it so even if you do extend your shipping and handling time just make sure that maybe you reach out to the buyer to avoid any nasty you know situations later down the road um, I don't think that this person saw that I had changed my shipping and handling time and I think that they would have been really upset had I not reached out to them so it's just a smart thing to do um, just in case people don't read the fine print the next thing that sold on Thursday Day was over on Mercari. It was this pair of new with tags, Jimboree boot cut jeans in a size 12. Someone offered me $17 on these. I did have free shipping on them. So it did cost me $5.12 to get shipped out. I believe I got these at the consignment store as well for under a dollar. And I only picked them up because they were new with tags. Um, Jimboree is, you know, it's like a decent, uh, children's brand that a lot of parents know and trust so I just picked it up made nine dollars and 39 cents not too shabby that was another case where the buyer made an offer and I let her know I said hey I am willing to accept this but I just want you to understand that I will not be able to ship this out until Tuesday I hope that's okay with you and she was totally fine with it so again communication is key moving on to Friday which was January 15th I had one kid is in sale and it was this pair of Hannah Anderson blue heart leggings in a size six to seven they sold for seventeen dollars and five cents I believe I had like a five percent off of one item sale or something happening in my uh happening in my kid is in shop and so someone just bought it at that price 
and I did do free shipping, so I paid $3.85 to get those shipped out. They were so lightweight. So I made $11.11 .11 on those, and those were pants that my daughter wore all the way up to last year and finally outgrew, so I listed them and made some money off of them. Saturday the 16th, I had zero sales, and that is the day, I believe, that I turned my vacation off on Poshmark and I um, changed my shipping and handling time back to one day on eBay, but I still had no sales, which is fine. And then on Sunday the 17th, I had a decent number of sales, which I was really happy about. On Poshmark, I sold this Flax, which is a great login look brand, uh, which stands for like layered look, just kind of the uh, oversized, just like lots of pockets, usually like made of linen, like that sort of look. Um, but it was this 100% linen pull on midi skirt in like a very neutral beige khaki color. It was in a size medium. It sold for $30, which is less than what I wanted for it. I think I had it listed at 50. I got an offer of 30 and I just went ahead and accepted it because obviously I had not been making as many sales as I typically do in a week. So I was just kind of accepting whatever offers came my way. So I accepted the $30 offer. I believe I paid about $5 for that and I made a profit of $24. That was listed for 57 days. So at that point, you know, I was just kind of happy to move it. The next thing to sell was this pair of Rika, which is an athletic wear line. Not like a very good one, I don't think. I think you can get Rika shoes at like Kohl's or something. I'm not 100% sure. But it was this pair of Moxie training sneakers in a size 7.5. I only had these because they came to me in a thread up shoe rescue box, but they sold for $20 using my closet clear out method. I had them listed for $25, you know, reached out to the buyer, let them know that I could drop the price to $20 and they would get discounted shipping. They agreed, so I made $16. However, because they were in a thread up rescue box, my cost of goods was $6, which means I really only ended up making $10 on that pair of shoes, which again, that's fine. That's kind of the gamble you take with those third up rescue boxes some of the pieces get you a really big profit and some of them you hardly profit on at all but that was only listed for 10 days too so i'm happy that i didn't have to hold on to them for very long the next thing to sell was over on ebay and it was another hannah anderson piece it was actually this pair of patent leather snowflake clogs in a size two these i picked up at the consignment store for under two dollars i keep mentioning this consignment store and if you haven't been watching my channel um, i did get to visit a local consignment store and i was able to shop in their storage unit by myself and basically stuff these big black garbage bags full of inventory and they charged me fifty dollars per bag so like one day i went and i focused primarily on shoes and because they take up more space um it really came out to like a little under two dollars per pair of shoes and for clothes it's really averaged out to like under a dollar like sometimes 70 something cents a piece sometimes 80 something cents a piece so when i talk about the consignment store that's what i mean but these sold for 24.99 which i think was my full asking price and then they paid for shipping it was promoted at one percent so i made 21 dollars and 41 cents i have had those listed for a pretty long time like at least half a year i want to say so that was a little surprising to me but i'm also okay with it like it's fine the next thing to sell was this pair of crocs they were these black faux fur lined clogs in a size youth 12 to 13 they sold for 19 dollars with free shipping i believe i got an offer i think i countered i think they countered back but um you know i just accepted it at that point it did cost four dollars and 32 cents to ship out and it was also promoted at one percent so i ended up making twelve dollars and 59 cents off of those crocs i probably could have gotten a little bit more for them but i got them for free from someone at church i have a friend whose whole family used to work crocs all the time so they donated like i don't know like five to eight pairs of crocs or something and i've been selling through them which is great so twelve dollars and 59 cents of pure profit which i am super happy with the next thing to sell was this pair of saucony kia canvara 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 <laughs> you guys these words five Convera 5 running shoes in a men's size 13. They sold for $34.90. That was an offer that I sent out to watchers that was with free shipping and it did cost $9.69 to ship out. They were pretty lightweight, but they were so long because they're a size 13. So, you know, if they were not as long, I could have fit them in a padded flat rate envelope for sure, but I, I couldn't because of their length. And so I did have to put them in a box 
it was pretty expensive to ship out. It is what it is. I made $21.72 on those. I did pay $7.50 for them, so that obviously cuts into my profit. I think those were only listed for under a month, so I was pretty happy with that. The next thing to sell on eBay was also a super small sale. It was this new with tags Faded Glory skirt in a size four. Faded Glory is Walmart. This skirt retailed for like $12.99. And the only reason I had it and listed it was because um, my school had like a garage sale type situation for our theater program and I just decided I would list this myself I don't know why I should have just let them sell it at the garage sale but because it was new with tags and so I listed it and I was ready to just like auction it out at 99 cents at this point but someone was watching it so I sent out offers to watchers for eight dollars and ninety cents which someone accepted that was with free shipping it cost four dollars and thirty two cents to ship out so I made three dollars and sixty cents that was also promoted at one percent there was a lot going on but I finally made some money off of that. That $3.60 will go to theater and what will I even buy? I don't know, but every dollar counts, right? And then my final sale of the week was over on Mercari. So, you know, despite the fact that I didn't sell very much, it was like a decent Mercari week, I don't know. But I sold this L.L. Bean green vented fishing shirt in a size extra large tall. This sold for $17, that was the offer that I got. They paid for shipping and so I made $14.51. That I believe I paid a dollar for at a Salvation Army that no longer exists actually um, but it was about an hour away I went there when I went on a um, trip with my students around this time last year actually so I have had it for a while I was happy to move it and even though $14.51 is not a huge profit um, you know because I paid so little for it that's totally fine that's all that sold this week guys like I said it was not a very heavy week of sales because I wasn't listing I wasn't really doing much the current week that we're in thankfully has already been much better the past couple weeks I have not hit my goals as far as like how much I want to earn each week but that's okay you know it's the very beginning of the year even though I'm not off to like the greatest start there is still time to grow and improve so I'm not super worried about it but to give you an idea of how my sales broke down on Poshmark I only sold five items last week and that was for a total of $93.05 that is already accounting for any shipping discounts which I don't think I offered any shipping discounts this past week but um, that's accounting for any shipping discounts accounting for the Poshmark 20% selling fee and then my cost of goods on those five items was $17.80 so if you subtract that then I made $75.25 total as far as my net sales and then on eBay, let's pause on this beautiful face so I can tell you my real numbers for eBay. So on eBay, I sold seven items for a total of $115.96. That is after shipping, after platform fees. Um, my cost of goods on those seven items was $17.90. So I ended up making $98.06 on eBay, which was better than what I did on Poshmark. And then on Mercari, I had five sales um, for a total of $60.68 after shipping, after platform fees, and cost of goods on those five items was $12.80. So I actually made $47.88 off of those five items on Mercari. On Kitizen, I had the one sale and I made $11.11 .11 off of that sale after shipping and platform fees. And that was something that, you know, my daughter had worn. So there's no really cost of goods attached to that. So for the week. So again, I'm going to jump in here and give you some real numbers. But for the week, I sold 18 items. And that was for a total of $280.80 after shipping, platform fees, all that stuff. My cost of goods on those items was $48.50. And so my net sales total, the amount that I profited and that is going into my bank account for realsies is $232.30. Which is really low for me, but again, I'm totally okay with it. Given the fact that we weren't even home, I was taking a huge break from everything reseller related. And I thought that that was still pretty good and respectable so just to give you an idea of what sold I sold eight women's pieces three men's pieces and six kids pieces the kids pieces you know they don't sell for a whole lot for me a lot of them though are things that I was either given for free or things that my kids wore so even though they're not selling for a lot they are pure profit and at this point I will continue to list that kind of stuff just because you know sales help engender more sales too and if my little $11 sale here leads to a bigger sale later 
later, I'm cool with that. I think that that's not a bad thing. I also love to always give you guys an update on how I'm doing with that consignment store where I got to shop by the shopping bag. So far, I have sold 456 pieces from that consignment store and made a total of $7,560.28. I have spent an initial $1,400 on all of the items that I picked up, you know, the first few times that I went. And I have since then gone back and I'm so excited to show you what I picked up um, when I went back there and to kind of talk to you about what I'm planning on doing with those pieces, which I'm kind of excited about. So that was it for me. This is a really short video for me just because again, not a whole lot sold. I am okay with that though because I think I was able to spend that time that I would have typically spent reselling on something much more important which was my family and just making sure that I was in a good place so that I could do my best work. Again, if you need to take a break, if you need to step back, give yourself the time and space and allow yourself to do that because it's really important that you are doing well in order to do your best when it comes to reselling and even more importantly to be your best for those in your life who you love and want to spend your time with. So um, I'm happy with the amount that I earned, especially because I was able to earn that money while spending time with some of the most amazing people on the face of this planet, which is my husband and my kids. And now I am refreshed and excited to get back at it this week. So I hope you guys had a wonderful week of sales. Let me know in the comments down below what your best sale was of the past week. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.